Set Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum. Et un Spiritus Fratres Agnus Camus Pecata Nostra, ut Abdissimus at Sacra Mysteria Celebranda. Miserere nostri Domine, qui ad peccabimus tibi, ostende nobis Domine misericordiam Tua, et salutare tuum da nobis. Misere atu nostri omnipotens Deus, et dimisis peccatis nostris perducat nos ad vitam eterna.
Festivitatis odierne universam ecclesiam tuam in omnigente et nazione sanctificas, in totam mundi latitudinem spiritus sancti dona defunde, et quod inter ipsa evangelice predicationis exordia operata est divina dignatio, Nun quoque per credentium corda per funde, per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tu, qui tecum vivit et regnat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. <clears throat> now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. <coughs> they were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthenians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus in Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. 
Verbum Domini. Deo gratias. Alleluia. letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service but the same Lord. There are different workings but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also is Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. Verbum Domini Sacrum septenarium, 
Sancti Evangelii secundum Ioane. Gloria Tibi Domine. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Verbum Domini Our doors are now open to the public. The church is open daily for private prayer from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. We will let you know as soon as we are permitted to have masses for the public. The sacrament of confession is available at the usual hours on Sunday in our parish garden. Our parish relies on the generosity of our people. Your Sunday donation helps us to continue our services at our parish and within our city. 
You can give online using our website or see the link in the video description. And thank you for your generosity and help during this time. This Mass is offered for the people of the parish. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. A good father will never abandon his family. He provides. And thus, our Heavenly Father does not leave us as orphans. The Son does not ascend to distance himself from us, but in order to send the Holy Spirit, that we may become temples of that Spirit, Indeed, that we may become sons and daughters of God, sharing the same spirit as the Son himself. We experience the freedom of children of God. We become free to call God Abba, Daddy. Our Father has not abandoned his family, but given us the precious gift of the Spirit, by which we are free. And yet you know that freedom is never free, it comes at a price. When we look with pride at our American flag, we recognize a freedom that has been won over and over by the blood of many soldiers who've made the ultimate sacrifice in order to preserve that freedom. And in an even more profound way, our freedom as Christians, the freedom by which we are sons and daughters of God, also comes at a great price, the price of the ultimate sacrifice made by the Son of God himself, the Lamb whose blood wins our redemption. Truly, freedom is connected with Almighty God, who gives us freedom. Indeed, there's a false sense that there can be freedom without God, and yet we know every time it has happened, that freedom without God turns into destruction. Our founding fathers themselves said the American experiment can only succeed if the citizens grow in virtue. Virtue, that right orderedness, ultimately ordered to God. Freedom without God turns into chaos. And I believe that is what we see in so many of our cities this day. Destruction, rioting, a complete loss of reason by those who would profess to fight for justice and yet are destroying the very institutions designed to protect justice. I wish to offer a special thanks and assure our prayers for those brave men and women who are our first responders, especially in our police force. They truly are the thin blue line that keeps chaos at bay, which it gives us the space, enables us to live in freedom in our cities, in our country. We see the freedom without God expressed in tyrannical regulations and you can always tell that they're tyrannical when the laws do not apply to the lawgiver. I'm very happy and content to cut my own hair. And I know laws are completely unjust when babies continue to be destroyed in the womb. But if you want to have an appointment for a colonoscopy, it's not possible. When a church cannot allow more than 10 people at a time for private prayer, and yet I can go to the store down the street to pick up building supplies, and there are hundreds of people there. When marijuana and alcohol are readily available, but family businesses are forced to keep their doors closed. When murderers are set free, and yet those who would try to open their business to feed their family are threatened with imprisonment. Truly, these are strange and troubling times, times in which we see freedom at risk of being lost in so many ways, at times when freedom is being abused. And yet the greatest danger in all of this, I truly believe it's not 
going to be the deaths, although there are many of those. It's not going to be illness. It won't even be the damages done to property or even the damages to the economy. Ultimately, the greatest damage that's being done in our time is the loss of faith and the power of the sacraments. And the sacraments which give us that life, that ability to live in freedom as children of God, the sacraments which are life-giving by the power of the Holy Spirit, who renews the face of the earth. What a joy, what an absolute joy it was this weekend to be able to offer the sacraments once again. Of course, while respecting all appropriate safety measures, and yet to see those catechumens who've been waiting for baptism for so long, for the little infants who've been waiting as well, so many baptisms, so, so many confessions. That is the grace of the Holy Spirit at work in a soul taken over with sin, which is the greatest tragedy. The greatest tragedy is to be in mortal sin. And yet, Almighty God, breathing the Holy Spirit through the ministry of a priest, brings order to chaos, brings order where there is disorder, brings virtue where there is vice. Indeed, this is the greatest gift, and our Savior goes through the locked door to give that gift of his peace. Whose sins you forgive, they truly are forgiven. We have received that freedom. We are called children of God. And we know that freedom has come at a great price. So do not use your freedom as a cloak for vice. Indeed, if we will treat our American flag with respect for the price paid for that freedom, in so much more should we respect our baptismal garment, which was paid for by the price of the blood of the Lamb. We pray in this day, in which there is so much chaos, so much turmoil throughout our country, come Holy Spirit, renew the face of the earth, renew our hearts, refresh our flagging spirits. Come, renew your life within us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Fix 
which are filled with violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all first responders, may God protect them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to holy orders and religious life, especially to the canons regular of St. John Cantius, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, renew the life of your spirit within your church, within the world. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
quasi mus domine ut secundum promissionum fili tui spiritus sanctus huius nobis sacrifici copiosus revelet arcanum. Et omnem propitius resurret veritatem, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum. Simili moro post pomcenatum est, 
Accipiens et caliter meterum gratia sagens, dedite scipuli suis dicens. Accipite et bibite ex eo omnes, hic est enim calic sanguinis mei, novi et eterni testamenti, qui provobius et promultis e fundetum, in remissionem peccatorum. Hoc facite in mea commemorazione. Gracias a gentes qui a nostinius haboristi a stare quorum te et tibi ministrare, et supplices de precamu, corporis et sanguinis Christi participes a Spiritu Sancto cum regemur in unum. Recordare Domine Ecclesiae tue toto orbe diffuse, ut eam in caritate perficia suna cum Papa nostro Francisco, l'Episcopo nostro Balseo, et universo clero. Memento etiam fratrum nostrorum, qui in spero resurrectionis dormierum, omniumque in tua miserazione defunctorum, et eos in lumen vultis tui admite. Omnium nostrum quesumus miserere, ut cum beata de genitrice, Virgine Maria, beata Iosef et eus sponso, beatis apostolis, et omnibus sanctis, vitibua seculo placuerum, eterne vitae meriamu resse consortes, et te laudemus et glorificemus, Per filium tuum, Iesum Christum. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, es tibi Dea Patria Omnipotenti, in unitate Spiritus Sancti, omnis honore gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. Salutaribus moniti et divine institutione formati audemus dicere Pater noste qui es in genis sancti Apostle 
distribuis pacem redinco vobis, pacem meam do vobis. Nere specias peccata nostra, sed fidem ecclesiae tue, amque secundum voluntatem tuam patificare, quadunare din iuris. Qui vivis et regnas in secula seculorum.
non alagiris custodi gratiam quam dedisti, ut spiritus sancti vigeat semper munus infusu, et ad eterne redemptionis augmentum spiritualis esca proficia, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum. Et cum spiritu tuo. Benedica vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius, Set Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Ite misa est. Alleluia. Alleluia.